Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and today I am joining Brenda from Monner's Market. Mona is the name that her grandkids call her, and Teresa from Teresa B. DIY for Bloom with Grace. And the bloom this month is tulips. I love tulips, and to be honest, I don't use tulips a lot in my crafting, but this month I am. I have two crafts to show you using tulips. So I hope you'll stay tuned and enjoy my video using tulips. I'd like to thank Brenda and Teresa for allowing me to join in today. I'll be sure and link their channels down below and the playlist of everyone who's joining in today. You'll want to be sure and watch the playlist of all the other contributors and what they're crafting with their tulips. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell with the word all so you'll be sure and be updated every time I update or add a video. Thanks so much. And I hope to see you again soon at Nona's Here. Now let's get crafting. I started this first DIY with this blended wood wreath form from Dollar Tree. All the tulips that I'm going to use in these two crafts are from Walmart. And the paint I got at Walmart also. So I spray painted this uh, wooden blend wreath form with uh, black paint, but this is how it looked before I did anything to it. So here it is after I spray painted it. I gave it uh, about three coats. I put it in a box, took it outside and spray painted it with this Rust-Oleum spray paint. And I should have put on gloves, but I didn't. So I ended up with paint all over my hands. These are the white tulips that I'm going to use for this first craft. And uh, like I said, I got them at Walmart. They were really, they were in one bunch and they were on really thick stems, but the stems broke off really easily from the bunch. So it wasn't difficult to cut them off. They just bent off real easily. And then I had uh, three different uh, patterns of ribbon. If you've been with me before, you know I always have more than what I need. So these are my three choices of ribbon that I have. And um, then I used floral wire to bound the tulips together and attach them to the wreath form. That I did get at Dollar Tree. So I bound the uh, tulips together at the bottom with the floral wreath wire and at the towards the top. And I left long tails on the uh, wire so that I could attach them to the wreath. And so I'm showing you how I attach them. I, I really wrap them a lot and attach them securely to the wreath form both uh, places but then I decided that I wanted more tulips coming out of the top so I took two more tulips and uh, attached them higher up to the bunch of tulips so there I'm showing you where I attached two more tulips higher up into the the bundle using the same method with the floral wire. So then I did take uh, my hot glue gun and I glued, hot glued the uh, wire, the floral wire to the wreath form to make sure that the floral wire didn't slip. Okay, I'm just trimming down the floral wire because I don't want those long tails on there. But I did hot glue the wire to the wreath form and to the stems to make sure that the floral wire did not slip. 
and that is what I'm showing you now. So that's the hot glue that I put on there just as a double security. Then I took the black and white polka dot ribbon. I decided to use it and I just made a simple shoe string bow and tied it onto the bottom of the bouquet. And I had the tulips going off to the side and used the black satin ribbon to make a hanger. And there it is, hanging up. I really like it. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Let's get on to the second tulip craft. So for this one, I'm going to use a charger plate that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the back because I want it to be like 3D. I'm going to use a page out of one of my calendars. And again, I'm going to use tulips that I got at Walmart. So um, I'm going to take uh, glue and glue the calendar page down on my charger. And I'm going to use this spray glue. I have several types of glue there, but I ended up using the spray glue because I really like the spray glue the best. So I laid my calendar page down on the charger and got it where I wanted it to be and then folded back the corners so I was sure where I wanted it to be centered and I spray glued it down. And then I took my roses and I hot glued them down, sticking the edges carefully under the calendar page because the calendar page is thin and it will rip. And then I took glitter ribbon and uh, it's stick on and I uh, stuck it along the bottom of the calendar page so it was finished. And there's the corners of the calendar page that I glued to the back. And then I used that same glitter ribbon to make a hanger. And there it is, all finished. And you can see how the roses are stuck underneath the calendar page. And there it is, hanging up. It just so happened that this calendar page had tulips with it. So I thought it turned out real pretty. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Thanks so much for visiting Known as Here. And I said roses, and of course I meant tulips. And a special thanks to Brenda and Teresa for allowing me to join in today. And I hope to see you all again at Known as Here. Bye.